latest news now on Red Sox top prospect Ryan Westmoreland. Well, it's good. Sox GM Theo Epstein is reporting that the team is excited that all the early indications are so positive. After the surgery, it's been an emotional week for all of those who know Ryan and his family. J.P. Smallins has more from Portsmouth. He was ranked as the Red Sox top prospect going into his second pro season and after recovering from two previous injuries, Portsmouth's Ryan Westmoreland was ready to make his mark in big league camp. But it all came to a halt when it was discovered that the outfielder had a cavernous malformation in his brain. The news hitting especially hard in his hometown, with those who know Westmoreland best. Immediately when they found found out what was going on, uh, it was it was all about getting him the best care that they could. I think once you get over the initial shock of the whole situation, then I think you just turn and try to get yourself as educated as as you can, and. Um, and then just find out, you know, what the, the best options are and, and try to take it step by step and don't look at it as a whole, but look at it as a step by step process. And I know that's, that's exactly what they're doing. His former athletic director and basketball coach was one of the first to find out the news during the team's state championship run. It was news he had to keep under wraps. It just happened like right before the s- state championship game. The night before is when the Red Sox uh, released the information to the public about what was really going on. And, and during that, two-week period, uh, it was really difficult because so many people come up and, and ask uh, how Ryan's doing, you know, where is he going to be at the end of spring training, um, you know, just everybody wanting to, to know uh, how he was doing and, and, and knowing what was going on and not being able to say anything was really difficult um, uh, because, uh, you know, so many people want what's best, for, you know, for him and want him to do really great. Uh, the kids came over and we talked a little bit about it and uh, decided that, you know, when we broke that last huddle before the uh, state championship uh, was won that we were going to we were gonna think of Westy. So we just kind of all put our hands in together, yelled Westy, and went out and uh, kids ended up in a pig pile on the Ryan Center floor. So it was pretty... It was a pretty uh, nice tribute to him and uh, just just a a small token of uh, us thinking about him at a a tough time. Mike Lunny receives updates from the Westmoreland family and is happy to report that the news is so far so good. And though Ryan faces a long road in his recovery, his former coach is confident that the focus he showed on the field will one day help him return to his best. I know that they they feel the outpouring, um, people reaching out, and and although they can't always, um, you know, uh, speak and and see everybody that they want to. Um, they definitely know that uh, that so many people out here are, are, are pulling for him, and he has meant so much to us in, 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 our, in our community and our program. And uh, you know, no matter what, uh, what I do know about Ryan is that that he will come out and, and turn this thing into a positive. In Portsmouth, I'm J.P. Smallins, Eyewitness Sports.